Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami! That was pretty cool. Uh, last episode, we entered Ezofuji in order to get the key that would grant us access to Yoshpet. Yeah, it was like climbing a ladder. <laughs> you, you have to get one step to do another. Because <laughs> I know, I know simple game design, guys. Yeah. So yeah, we got the Sewa Prolu, which will allow us to get past the Oena Crest uh, to access the Forest of Illusion and Deception and Decepticons. It's called Yosh Pet. It's like Yoshi, but he's a pet. That's really, that's re <laughs> that's really all I've got. It's really all I've got. It's it's been a long we weekend, and I'm back to school, so that's that's all I have, guys. Really. The rest of this episode will actually have no commentary. But anyway, uh, as we leave here, we're, we will be stopped by Kai. I'm just going to jump into it because I don't see why I should make a big hadoo about things. It's it just another thing we're doing, so let's do it. How did it go with Kemu? Did he want to talk to you about something? It was a little more than a leisurely talk. We were asked to go look for Lika and Yoshpet. Yoshpet? You mean the, si the forest in the east? I don't think anyone's been there to look for her yet. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, the forest isn't exactly a prime tourist spot. Isun, are you really going to go back there? Who says I'm going back? I was using the royal we? I was ref I was talking about furball here. Yoshpet is like another world. Get lost and you might never return. But don't you worry. Ami here will find Lika. If that's the case, I, I will lead the way. What? I know you must be worried, Isun, but we haven't gotten much time. Or we haven't gotten much time. What do you mean? The demons are waiting for the Day of Darkness. It's a solar eclipse that occurs once every hundred years. Kamui will be in total darkness for a whole day when it happens. Without sunlight and with the demon's blizzard going on, no living thing in Kamui will be able to survive the day. There are only a few days until the Day of Darkness. If Lika's not here to recite the volcanic incantation by then... Amaterasu, you're no ordinary wolf, are you? Kemu wouldn't have asked you to do this otherwise. Maybe you're the reincarnation of the white wolf Shiranui. You must be very strong if you can cope with these. <laughs> and your point is? Sorry, uh, anyway, there's no time to lose. I'll lead you into the forest, Amaterasu. Come, with, come when you're ready. I'm going ahead to the edge of the forest. So, let's go ahead and follow her. I don't know why she decided to go ahead, not just walk with us, but... I'll, I'll just I'll just chalk it up to her being young, and the current generation doesn't wait for anything these days. The mysterious fo forest of Yoshpet. The entrance, been, the entrance has been sealed by the Oena Crest. They did that to protect it from the monsters in these parts. That forest originally had its own power that kept them away. But I wonder if Yoshpet has lost its power. After all, no place is safe from evil in this land now. Okay, so where we need to go, you can actually see it from here. It is that crest over there in the dead end. You, it's circled on the map, and really it just, you know, you jump off the cliff and just make a beeline right for it. Easy as that. Not quite as easy as that, because it is now guarded by a... Bull Charger! The Bull Charger strategy is identical to that of the Red and Blue Ogre, except it's a little bit more powerful and has a little bit more technique involved. Uh, with this, go ahead and shoot it from here. It will use the same exact strategies as, bef as the ogres, however, uh, where before it had a missed attack that had to be blown away with Gale Storm, this time it has to. Uh, you have to use uh, Inferno on it. Uh, just and also speaking of Inferno, that is the Floral Finisher or Fire Burst, whichever suits your fancy. But uh, my strad my suggestion would actually be use Veiled Mist to get behind it. I didn't do that because I have an awesome new weapon with the same type attack bonus, so it's it's actually really, really powerful right now. Almost broken. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really need to use that, but you can, in case you don't have the weapons that I do. That I do. So, uh, with Sewa Prolu, try saying that 
like 20 times fast, I bet you can't. Uh, the Oena Crest just melts right away as if it n doesn't exist, and we are now able to access the Forest of Illusion. Zombie ghosts leave this place! <laughs> the Eastern Forest. The ancient people of Kamui dubbed it Yoshpet. It means consuming forest in their ancient language. They say the forest will swallow you up if you lose your way. Kai said she'd be waiting for us here. I wonder where she is. I don't know where she is, but... I know Waka's here. Man, I thought we'd be leaving all of, um, all trace of of uh, Nippon behind when we cross the sea. Hmm? Why, a Matarasu? Bah, not that half-baked prophet again. What are you looking for now, Mashare? I'm still looking for you-know-what, but this cold air is sure making it difficult. Like, we really care, pretty boy. If you're gonna be dogging our tracks like this, you better tell us who you really are. Who I really am? That's right. I mean, we already know you're up to no good. Excusez-moi, but I do not know what you're talking about. I am just looking for a certain path. You could say I am a seeker of the eternal heavens. Aha! Now I know why you keep babbling on about a path to the heavens. You're planning a wolf murder. Then, you'll take Ami's place in heaven. Huh? <laughs> By that look, I take it I hit the nail right on the head. That also explains why you keep turning up wherever we go. A path to the heavens? Bah! More like a highway to you know where. You misunderstand me, my little bouncing friend. The path to heavens I seek is not a vulgar thing such as that. My path to the heavens slumbers here in the land of Kamui. I seek a heavenly ark. Heavenly ark? That's right. In Kamui, there is a ship made a, a ship of iron locked in ice. I can sense it now. It is almost within my grasp. You know this too, do you not, Matarasu? Hey, leave Furball out, out of this. Well, I must bid you adieu. No need for any prophecies this time. Au revoir. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we know he's, uh, we know Waka's close to uh, his goal. Here's my question: How on earth did Kai get there without running into the bull charger and or Waka? Hmm. I've been waiting for you, Matarasu. Did you know that Yosh Pet means consume? Yes, we we just we just heard that from you soon. It is said that those who lose their way here can never ex escape. Even the monsters try to avoid the place as much as they can. Our tribe has long been entrusted with protecting this forest. That's why the entrance is sealed with the Oina Crest. Recently, however, the forest's power has been dwindling, so it's hard to know what might be awaiting us inside. But if we can make it deep inside the forest, we'll come to a special place. It's a secret place that humans can never reach. I had something of a connection with the place when I was small. That's why I know the way. Right, Isun? There's a chance that Lika might be there. We're all depending on you, Matarasu. Well, it's time for it's time to begin our expedition into the forest. Run as fast as you can. Are you ready to go? Yes. Let me warn you first. Do not underestimate this forest, okay? The tree pollen here has the power to confuse beasts. Rioina can't stay here for long, and I doubt you can either. None of us want to get lost in the blizzard and die out here. So make sure you follow me and don't fall behind. O oh, spirits of the air, earth, and sea, protect us with your divine powers. So, we have to go through this very Lost Woods-esque area. Uh, there will be walls of roots blocking our way, and also chests that we can grab. Uh, Kai will wait for us if we lag behind. However, we don't have an unlimited time in here. Uh, we have a five-minute timer, and periodically there will be these orbs scattered around that will give us 30 seconds. That isn't a lot, so you need to be quick about your exploration. Also, around here are a ton of cursed saplings. So you want to, uh, you want to, no, 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 no. You want to bloom them as fast as you can because there are a lot of them. And as soon as you come across one, you'll probably come across like three others like this. And bloom, oh, I got, I got it, sweet. 
So yeah, you want to bloom those as fast as you can, and bloom just doesn't want to work. Bloom! Seriously! No! Thank you! Ow! You hit me. Uh, thank you! These things are so annoying. And there are a lot of them, too. Did I mention that there are a lot of them? Because there are a stinking lot of them! And they are everywhere. Err! Uh, no, Bloom! I don't... Uh, I don't get... Whoa, you... You are... Uh, alive! <laughs> Great commentary, pal. I can't see what... I can't wait to hear what you're gonna say next. Me neither. These guys... Thank you for blooming. Have a nice day. Bloom. Bloom. Thank you. Now die. You, shoot your thing at me. Shoot it. Thank you. Die. Well, not die. Just live very well. Just live, stupid tree. <sighs> now, you also want to be careful when dealing with these trees. Also, I have three minutes left. Uh, because if you power slash one of them... They will remor- Whoa, one just shot at me. They will remain dormant for a long time. Long enough that you can't actually, like, wait for it. So, you need to be aware of that. Okay. Sorry about that, I, I hit the minus button and went to settings, so... I cut it out so you didn't see that- that oopsie. Well, you did, but you didn't. Okay, Kai's going. Thank you, Kai. How are they not targeting her? you think that it'd be better to target- a little defenseless wolf girl. Ugh. Uh, then target a wolf that has a weapon. Thank you. Now die. No. Die. No. Die. No. Uh, yeah. This is the first area of this of Yosh Pet. I'm already this frustrated by the trees. The trees I just I just dislike with a burning passion. They're they're just annoying, and they're kind of unpredictable too because their their um their projectiles can be varying speeds. They can be superbly fast or really slow, and the fact that there are swarms of them everywhere just makes it really hard to deal with them. And it doesn't help the designers put them in the most inconvenient positions imaginable. Holy bone ass, wonderful. Okay. Ugh. Uh, also, a thing I should note, to get through the that wall of, of roots, you should just mirror the jumps that Kai make, makes because they're the same height as yours. Okay, you die. Just die. Okay. It is an... Ow. Ow! Leave me alone. It isn't really... I mean, it is worth it for blooming all these trees, since I think you get a reward besides praise. I'm a little bit foggy on that, but I'm pretty sure you do. So I'm going to be doing it, but yeah. Also, whenever you see a branching path, you want to take the wrong route, because it doesn't actually lead anywhere. It's not like uh, it's not like the Lost Woods from Ocarina of Time, where if you take a wrong turn, you end up back at the beginning. Uh, if you take a wrong turn here, there are no repercussions. It's just a dead end that... I believe always has a treasure chest or some such reward like that in it, so you want to take the wrong paths as much as you can. Okay, uh, this is section number two. I'm counting sections by the loading screens, not not the walls of, of vines. So ooh, in this, you'll see there are a bunch of shadows. Just don't end up under one. You won't be hit by one of those icicles, because if you are, then you will be frozen. So yeah, they're, they're very well placed so uh, just take a path that you don't think you would take like that you want to take the the not not thought of path okay are they done with, the, with that now I, I think they are also I should have mentioned that the rewards in here that the rewards that they give are actually very good like if you look in this chest there is you know there's a uh, white porcelain pot which is worth quite a bit if I recall so the rewards are good, it just, they're hard to get because of ice physics, the the acid water, the cursed trees, which you'll see one is very evilly placed right here. They just, they just throw these at you right as soon as you jump off the ice, and you're traveling really slow, so you're, you're very likely to get hit by their, by their projectiles, and it's just, ugh. 
It's it's not a good time. And then that, that too. It's they're everywhere. <sighs> okay. I'm saying okay, but I don't care. That's a, oh my word. Do you see how fast that was? Okay, throw your fast pitch again. Whoa. Okay, we have one minute left, but actually, it's fine if we fail this. I'm not trying to get everything in on the first run. Bloom. 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 Thank you. Just have to remember, all will be right, unless it isn't. Where's Kai? There she is. Okay, so I have 50 seconds left, but like I said, I'll just meet you guys back here if the time runs out. You don't have to see me backtrack or anything. It's funny, because last episode I was like, this is one of my favorite areas in the whole game. Oh, and also Stray Bead at near the end of the um of the first route. Near the end. It's it's on the beaten path, so. Okay, let's go up the wrong path. We have 30 seconds left, and I doubt that I'll be able to do much more than just grab the chest and leave. However, I can do this power slash it while on the run so I don't actually have to stop running except I did 15 seconds 15 seconds I should choose a landmark to to remember so when I get back I'm good uh, it was right next to the stray bee chest can I make it to the next loading I can <laughs> so here's a, a look see at the next thing and then we ran out of time and here we are with five minutes remaining no nope. remaining Stupid thing. <sighs> Is it just that I'm not good at this game? <laughs> Is that why I'm doing so poorly? Because... Whoa. No. Uh, because... <laughs> Kai's like, dude, bro. You're running to everything you see. How can you be this bad? How can you be like a sun goddess or whatever? And my answer is like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this badly. Uh... Okay, uh, there's a right and wrong path this time. Let's go up here because it'll probably lead us to some cursed trees or a snowball that's intent on freezing our face open. Uh, nothing. Just, just a swarm of, of snowballs that come from nowhere, right? Okay. <laughs> I get it. It makes, it all ma- <laughs> I, I see because of, yes. Also, he's like a, a football kicker. It all makes sense now. Bloom. Bloom. Thank you. Thank you for blooming. You. Hit me with your best shot. Because your best shot will be mine. You're going to hit me with your best shot? Now, there is a reading reason, reason why, I'm not, why I'm not speeding this up. Uh, it's because this is... This is, you know, it's not something where it's, it's redundant. It's not me rolling a snowball, which is extremely redundant and has no reason to be shown. Um, I, I could, might, I might as well just cut it out. This is something that's, that's new. It is exploration and it's a race, but it's just something that's long. But just because it's long is, is not a good reason for me to be cutting it out. So remember that, uh, rising LPers. If there's something that's long, but also important, then you probably shouldn't cut it out or speed it up. Uh, stupid ice. The ice physics in this area are almost as angering as the trees because you can barely move. It's 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 almost like playing Five Nights at Freddy's. You can't move. You can only just kind of watch as things unfold around you and hope that they don't hurt you. Uh, Kutani pottery. Yay! Someone left their their snack dish in the middle of nowhere. Can I please bloom that? Thank you! Now I'm done with this ice pond thing. I wish I could come here in like winter- uh, this is winter. SUMMER! When all this smelted. Okay, we're supposed to be going to the right, which means I will go to the far right and cut the corner. Now I do need to make sure that I get all of these trees because that is important. That is very important. Because they have a lot of praise and, well, each one uh, on its own doesn't have much praise, but as a whole, they do have a lot of praise. And they have food in case in case you just upgrade your um, your thing. Man, you have quite a good arm. 
Okay, so be stunned and be bloomed. Be bloomed. Bloom. Thank you. Ow! I ran straight into that. Okay. Camera, can you be cooperative? Maybe? Possibly? Almost? Not quite? No, okay. You're, you're being good now. Okay. Uh, keep it... <laughs> keep it frosty. Because this is something we need to grab. At the end of the third section, there is a stray bead buried in the wrong path. Uh, I would show it on the map, but there is no map for this area because that would kind of defeat the purpose of the entire thing. So, uh, we're done with the third area, on to the fourth, right? Or not, because we're here. An oasis in the tundra, the, or the desert. I guess tundra is, is a cold desert, basically, so an oasis in the desert. Here we are. It's been a while since I was last here, so I wondered if I'd make it. You know, after all this time, it hasn't changed one bit. Matarasu. This place is Yosh Pet's little secret. Welcome to Pongton, home of the Ponkles. I'm sure Isun will tell you a lot more about it. Ugh. Anyway, Kemu sensed Lika's presence here, right? If we don't find her before the Day of Darkness begins, and she doesn't perform the volcanic incantation, Kamui will freeze over for good. We're really counting on you, Matarasu. Okay, that is not it for this episode. Uh, we're actually going to be progressing because we're actually only like 25 minutes in. So there's some animals to be fed and um, some trees to be bloomed. So let's start with the trees because those are the easiest and don't require me cutting away. And then we will go on to the animals. That would be all the animals in this area. They all seek refuge in this one warm place of Yoshpet. This place hasn't changed a bit. Ami, the Ponkel village, Punkton, is in this tree st stump. Too bad you're so big. I'm sure you'd like to go in there and chat with the locals. Hey, isn't that... Yeah, it's the Lucky Mallet. What's it doing here? Don't tell me it wants it wants to repay you for your kindness. Who knew tools could be so loyal? I guess you could visit Pongton if you're smaller. Well, Furball, you want to go in or what? Want to enter Pongton? Yes! Really? Well, I suppose you could ask the villagers about Lika, but you'll have to go by yourself. I ain't going in there. S this slick helmet of mine could get ruined in such a gloomy place. Very well, we go in alone. <laughs> oh, this music, this area, it's Minish Cap all over again. Oh my word, it's Minish Cap. But seriously, this, this place is even more Minish Cap than than the Imperial Palace when we were shrunken down, because this area actually has a people. It has the people of the shrunken down place. They incorporate themselves into the stump and have built a miniature, I guess you could call it a city of sorts. It's very beautiful, very colorful, uh, a big departure from the the icy kind of grayish area we've come to see as Kamui. Now, I'm not knocking Kamui at all, but I'm actually praising it, because in the midst of this area of the game, in the midst of Kamui, we have a break from it in the form of Pongtin. It's gorgeous! Look at this! It's it's life inside of a tree stump, and a lot of life. It just, it's really, really cool, and it gives me some serious Minch Cat vibes, and we will be exploring it next episode. I believe this episode's a tad bit short, but that's fine. I am trying to cut them a little bit shorter than I have been. Too many times have I had a 40-minute episode, and I'm trying to fix that. Um, in the beginning of the LP, I, I had shorter episodes. I had a b episodes about the length of this one. Um, in the middle, I had episodes that were just right, 
and about now I've had episodes that were much too long, and I am trying to put a stop to that. So uh, that's going to be it. Next time we're going to be exploring Pongton.